Ever wondered why Italians don't use a spoon when twirling spaghetti? Well, it's a curious case of cultural customs and table manners that's sure to twist your noodle. You see, in Italy, the art of spaghetti twirling is a skill honed from childhood. It's all about the fork, my friends. The idea is to pile a few strands onto your fork, press them lightly against the plate, and give it a good twirl. The perfect spaghetti twist achieved without a spoon in sight. Now, using a spoon may seem like a harmless shortcut, but to Italians it's a faux pas on par with pouring ketchup on a pizza. In fact, there's a tale of a hapless foreigner who dared to use a spoon in a local Italian eatery. The shock and horror on the faces around him was so pronounced that the poor chap was hurriedly chased out, his spaghetti left sadly untwirled. So the next time you're enjoying a bowl of spaghetti, remember, no spoon, just twirl. Imagine being banned from public transport for carrying a fruit. Yes, you heard it right. It's not a dangerous weapon, not a wild animal, but a fruit. Meet the durian, the culprit behind this bizarre rule. This spiky tropical delight is notorious across Southeast Asia for its, let's say, unique aroma. Some adore its rich custody texture and distinctive flavor, while others can't get past the smell, often described as a mix between rotten onions and gym socks. In fact, the durian's odor is so powerful that it's banned from many public places, including trains, hotels, and even some flights. Yet despite its stinky reputation, the durian is also known as the king of fruits in its native lands. It's a fruit that divides opinion like no other, creating a love and hate relationship among locals. So if you ever plan to eat a durian, you might want to bring a gas mask and a lot of friends to share the experience with. Ever thought of eating a sheep's heart, liver and lungs? Sounds delicious, doesn't it? Now, before you start dialing your local pizza joint out of panic, let's talk about a little something called haggis. This Scottish delicacy may sound like a dare from a reality TV show, but for the folks in Scotland, it's as common as mashed potatoes. Imagine this. You're in a cozy Scottish pub, the fire is crackling, and the smell of something savory wafts through the air. You're handed a dish that looks like a hearty meatloaf, it's haggis. A blend of sheep's heart, liver and lungs, minced with onion, oatmeal, suet and spices, all stuffed into a sheep's stomach and boiled. The initial shock of foreigners is quite a sight. The expressions range from pure disbelief to downright horror. But once they take a bite, their faces often light up with surprise. It's hearty, it's spicy, it's delicious. Don't knock it till you try it, right? Who knows, haggis might just be your next favorite dish. Well, that's it for our whirlwind tour of the world's weirdest food customs. We've spun our spaghetti in Italy, braved the scent of durian in Southeast Asia, and tackled the haggis in Scotland. Each of these unique customs adds a dash of flavor to our global culinary experience, making the world of food all the more diverse and fascinating. Whether it's twisting pasta the right way or challenging your senses with exotic fruits, we encourage you to dive in and try these customs, or at least participate in them. Who knows? You might find your next favorite dish or tradition. Don't just stand on the sidelines. Jump in, taste, enjoy, and share your experiences. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Share it around and drop a comment about your own unusual food experiences. And for those with a taste for more, follow us on your favorite social platforms for more tantalizing content. Get ready for the next video where we'll continue our culinary adventure. Don't forget to follow us on social media at World Wide Wave 24 for more exciting content and a chance to win some cool prizes. Stay curious, stay hungry, and keep exploring.